Hey everybody, here we are in week three and we're moving into the leadership theory timeline. But before we get into it too far, I wanted to go back over the ideas of citizen leadership. I brought it up a week ago, uh, introduced Richard Kuto's idea about vibrant leadership everywhere. Well, there's kind of a second part as well, and I've got a video showing behind me. This is from our civil rights movement travel class, uh, particularly when we were in Selma. Um, also, going along with that citizen leadership, Richard Kuto says that citizen leaders um, are vital and necessary in a democracy. That by uh, calling attention to injustice and things that need to be fixed and getting out, um, that citizen leaders are actually the driving force for government officials. A lot of times government officials won't act until they're forced to do so. It's best to just kind of stay neutral on a lot of things and not kind of cause waves or rock the boat. But those citizen leaders, by stepping up and demanding that something be done to remedy these injustices, they are the ones who create the pressure on the elected officials. And so uh, on our civil rights movement travel class, we, we study the leaders, from my perspective, the leaders of the civil rights movement, and then the things that they did to bring about awareness and to bring about demand for change. And so in some ways, as Kuto describes those citizen leaders, it's almost kind of a shadow government, that they're the ones who provide the, the influence and the impetus for change and you know call attention to it, make people aware, uh, get people to really become outraged and demand action. So again, that's Richard Kuto's ideas. Again, that leadership is not just something that we see in elected officials. And actually with the citizen leadership, it says that they're actually more followers uh, who, who go after the citizen leaders. And it's not just vested in, in corporate positions, but the leadership, vibrant leadership, citizen leaders are everywhere throughout society. So again, just something to file away. I, I love those ideas. And, and it's another one of those, now that you realize it, I think you'll be able to kind of see it uh, in a lot of different places where you look. That's it.